when Travis Kelsey got to the quiet corner of the stadium, the crowd's roar had just started to fade away. Instead of the normal post-game energy, he felt nervous. He was there, his phone screen giving off a soft glow. They had been dating for almost a year, but things moved quickly, which made the tabloids go crazy. But tonight wasn't about them. Travis was the subject. More touchdowns mean more wins for the Kansas City Chiefs. Another win means they can raise the Lombardi Trophy. Hey, Taylor's voice, which was warm and familiar, came over him. He tried to smile, but the game was making him tired. As he rasped, hey, beautiful, the air in Kansas City became thick. That was... Incredible, she asked, her eyes shining. Travis, you were a human highlight reel out there. They talked for a while, as you do, after a game, still feeling excited about winning. But then the call was over. Travis slouched against the wall, feeling like the whole world, all of its stress and non-stop attention, was crushed against him. The city lights outside became fuzzy as tears came to her eyes. A soft knock woke him up. It was Taylor, who was wrapped in a stadium blanket. Her eyes, which are generally sly, were soft with worry. Hey, what's wrong? Her voice was almost a whisper as she asked. Travis rarely spoke out when he was upset, but he choked out, I don't know. Maybe it's the win or the stress. She sat next to him, and the quiet between them was nice. Then she spoke, and her voice had a quiet strength to it. Travis, she started, you are such a great athlete. You make a lot of people happy and inspire a lot of people. But. She stopped and took his hand. You're more than that. Your loyalty is strong, and you're kind and funny. You make me laugh so hard that my sides hurt, and you listen when the world gets too loud. She let out a single tear that ran down her face. You, Travis Kelsey, are the best thing that's ever happened to me. The wall broke. Travis's face was wet with tears of happiness, tiredness, and a love that was so strong it scared him. She held him close and whispered comforting words to him. Her love soothed his hurt feelings. Travis found his anchor in that quiet spot, where the baseball stadium lights didn't seem to care. His fame made him more than just a football player. He was loved and cared for just the way he was. And he felt a little lighter at that moment, because Taylor's love was making him feel better. There was a lot of excitement in the changing room after the game. The Chiefs had just won a very close game, and Travis Kelsey, with one of his usual big catches, was the star of the moment. But Travis felt something pull on his shirt amidst the cheers and high fives. And it was Taylor. It was easy for her to get past the crowd of reporters and cameras, her smile was as bright as the stadium lights. There you are, my champion, she said in a whisper as she hugged him. It felt like he was coming home. Travis, who generally laughs very loudly, couldn't say a word. He felt safe and warm in her arms, and the smell of her lavender perfume made him feel better after the game. Taylor pulled away and cupped his face in her hands. The look in her eyes made him gasp for air. Travis, she said, her voice heavy with tears that hadn't yet dried, you are the most amazing, helpful, and inspiring person I had ever met. No one else makes me laugh, dream, or believe in myself more than you do. She let out a single tear, which made a shiny trail down her cheek. That's when Travis felt it. That love wasn't just after the game, it was something deeper and more meaningful. She wrapped her arms around him again in a quiet spot, away from the curious eyes. This time, the dam broke. Travis had tears running down his face because he was so shocked and loved. He didn't know how much he meant to her, the woman he admired so much. He held her close and whispered comforting words. He felt a strange kind of weakness grow in his chest. Saying, hey, Taylor finally pulled away, her mouth wet with a smile. We're supposed to be the tough ones, right? Travis laughed and wiped his tears away. He said, maybe, but his voice was rough. But sometimes, even the toughest need reminding just how lucky they are. He grabbed her hand and looked into her eyes. With tears in his eyes, he told her, you're the best thing that ever happened to me too. You make me a better person on and off the field. Even though the crowd was loud and happy, they found a moment of pure, 
unadulterated love in that quiet nook. A famous athlete and a famous musician fell in love in a way that went beyond fame and expectations. Their story shows that sometimes the best wins happen off the field, in the quiet moments spent with the person you love. The dressing room was full of the usual mix of happy and tired people after a game. The Chiefs had just won a very close game, and star tight end Travis Kelsey was the hero of the moment. But he didn't have the usual smile on his face. The feeling of winning was still fresh in his mind as he slouched on a bench. It rang, and when he looked down at the screen, he saw Taylor's name flash. It made him feel good. They had been dating for a year, and even though the media was always looking at them, the relationship was going strong. Hey, you okay? He asked in a rough voice. When Taylor said, oh, Trav, her normally clear voice got heavy with emotion. I just. I had to tell you something. Travis got ready for his biggest fan to give him the usual post-game talk. What happened next, though, caught him off guard. With a sob in her throat, Taylor said, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Those words hit Travis like a ton of rocks. He had never really fit in with Taylor's world of shiny things and Grammys. His name was a famous player, but he didn't feel as famous as she did. He felt something in his throat get lumpy, and he couldn't stop himself from crying. Taze, what's wrong? She said, nothing's wrong, in a shaky but strong voice. Everything is fine. You just, you see me and love me for who I am. You remind me that there's more to life than just music and expectations. Travis wiped his eyes and felt a smile slide across his lips. I just try to make you laugh, keep you grounded. You do that, Taylor said with a laugh, showing a bit of her normal lightness again. But you also push me and encourage me. Like you do on the field, you make me want to be brave and go after what I want. There was silence between them, a safe space full of feelings that were not spoken. At last, Travis spoke up. His voice was thick with increased confidence. You know, you're pretty darn amazing yourself, Taylor Swift. The phone was filled with real, warm laughter. Yes, Travis Kelsey. The same goes for you. Travis hung up, and a smile finally broke out on his face. He turned to look around the locker room. The cheers and friendly banter were no longer just a faraway sound. Even though he was on a team, he also had his own hero and muse. He knew that was a win that should be celebrated. The locker room was full of the normal mix of sweat, joy, and the pain of losing. There was one difference this time, the Kansas City Chiefs won, and Travis Kelsey, who is usually very loud, sat there quietly. His phone rang. And it was Taylor. He said he had to leave and found a quiet place to answer. He said, hey, but his voice was hoarse from all the cheers. Travis. His ear was filled with Taylor's voice, which was a melody even though the link was bad. You were wonderful. Like, actually jumping over defenders, that's amazing. Kelsey pulled his lips together in a sheepish grin. Just doing my job, Tay. For a beat, there was quiet. Then her voice got softer, and it sent chills down his spine. No, Travis. You had more. Because of you, I haven't written a sad song in about two years. He held his breath. This weak side of Taylor that she only showed him wasn't like her at all. Really? She said, really, and a laugh caught in her throat. Travis Kelsey, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Thank you for being yourself. The line stopped working. Kelsey's eyes were filled with tears, making it hard to see the celebration of win outside. It was new to him for someone like Taylor Swift to show so much love in public. He, a football player with dirt under his nails, is the best thing that ever happened to a pop star? He let out a choked sob. He sat down on the bench and held his phone to his chest. The win might not have made him cry. He might have been crying because he finally felt like he deserved it. The touchdown catches, the cheering fans, and most of all, Taylor were all things he earned. He wiped his eyes and smiled big through the tears. Even though he would love to win another Super Bowl, this could be his best catch ever.